So I wanted to take today to go ahead and talk about bends, hoping that you will be able to incorporate them more into your own improvisation. So uh, first thing before we get started is we're going to be using our A minor blues scale. If you want to go back through a previous lesson and review that, feel free. It's really important since we're moving these scales all over the guitar to kind of understand where to bend the notes on these scale on the scales in correlation with the scale shape, okay? So like you want to know like this is my A minor blues scale shape. If I bend the notes in these spots, they sound good, all right? And these are just my favorite notes to bend. Everyone has their own, right? So if you find a note that you love bending on the guitar, you love the way it sounds, do that. Totally do that. That's what you should do. Um, but these are just a few of my favorites, hopefully giving you more tools for your own improvisation when you're doing your own solos. So let's start out by just playing our A minor blues scale with our shift, and we're just reviewing it at this point. Here we go. <laughs> shape, how we're going to find where we're bending at is we're going to play up our scale shape and then we're going to pause at that note. All right. So let's go ahead and begin. So pause right there. That's, that's our first one. Um, this note within our scale shape sounds great to bend. Now when I'm bending, it might look a little bit confusing on, on the camera but I'm actually putting my second finger on the same string. So I'm not holding down a different note, just my second finger is on the same string right behind my third finger. It just gives me more leverage on my bend. Um, and you might find that, that helps you as well, okay? So go ahead and give that string a bend. And uh, before I forget to mention, I've got a slight distortion on my guitar. If you've got an electric, feel free to do that as well. Um, acoustic is totally fine as well, but you might find some of the strings in certain spots are harder to bend on acoustic than electric. Yeah, so that's a great note to bend, right? And basically, when we're bending, you can either do a half bend, which is where you're bending it up a half step, or a full bend. I like to bend that one a full, do a full bend, so we're bend bending it up a whole step, okay? So our target note is two frets above the note that we're bending. So we're trying to hit that note with our ear, okay? Yeah. So that's the difference. And what's sweet about this note for bending is you put your first finger on the B string on the fifth fret, okay? You're gonna pick both of these strings. We're still bending the same string. You're gonna pick both of these strings at the same time. sound and that's actually the note that's actually the note E so that's our whole step okay so when we're bending up a whole step we're trying to hit that target note of E we're trying to match that note sounds really cool right and you can do a lot of cool things with that things with that spot. So that's, that is one of my all-time favorite things to bend in this scale. Um, let's find our next one. So we're going to start out playing at the bottom of our scale. We'll do the shift. Shift. And pause right there. Okay. So this is actually the same note we were bending down here, but up an octave. We're playing a D right now. Okay. So same deal. We're just bending that note up a whole step. So we're med trying to hear that note with our bend. Yeah. Just a good note to bend, right? It was a good note to bend there. So it was also a good note to bend there up the octave. Now, the next one I'm gonna show you, I'm a little bit more partial to, more recently, I never used to use this note in my bends really. Um, but lately, 
I've been really digging it. So uh, let's play up our scale. This time though, we're not gonna do a shift with our, with our blue scale. We're gonna just stay within the same shape. This note now bending with your pinky it, for me at least is not very effective so when I bend this note my my finger kind of changes okay so I use my third finger to bend this note so although normally when I'm playing my my pentatonic or my blue scale I would use my pinky all the time for that note this time in this instance when I'm doing a bend I'm not I'm using my third finger and putting my second behind it okay and we're gonna do a full bend. We're trying to bend up to the note A. So here we go. We'll go ahead and bend that string. So we're on the B string on the eighth fret. Yeah, and that's just one, like I said, I've been using that one more recently. Um, it seems to depend really on the context of the song as to if that works or not. It. I've been really digging it, especially in this instance that I'm going to show you right now. Um, if you put your, so we're going to keep our finger there to bend that same exact note on the B string, on the, the eighth fret. If you put your first finger back on the fifth fret, that's your target note you're going to try to bend to. And just like we picked both of these strings for this one, you're going to do the same for this, okay? A little bit of a stretch here, especially between your first and second finger, but you know, if you just kind of work at it, you'll get used to it as time goes on. It sounds really cool, right? And that pretty much works all the time, right? I wouldn't overdo that trick. It's, it's definitely more of a guitar trick than anything else. So I wouldn't overdo it, but it's a really great way to build some excitement or have kind of like a highlight of your solo happen. So just a couple of my really favorite bends on this scale. Now, keeping in mind, especially since we're on electric, you know, if you have acoustic, your fretboard might kind of be at its limit about here, right? Somewhere in this 12 to 15 range. So this might not be possible, but if you're an electric, um, all of this is applicable if we take and move our scale shape up an octave on the fretboard. So basically, up an octave on the fretboard for this is going to be on fret 17, okay? Because our notes start repeating at fret 12. We've got E, F, G, A, right? So go ahead and play your blues scale up there. here it does it takes some practice the spacing is totally different so if you're if you just kind of move the scale up here for the first time ever today uh, you'll want to practice just the scale on its own but our bends work up here too so if we play up our scale there's our first favorite note to bend and if I put my first finger on the B string underneath of it, it sounds really cool really really sweet yeah and if we go ahead and find our next note to bend, we'll do our shift. Now this one, you're way up here. So a lot of times I, I kind of switch between my second finger and my third finger for bending this one, if I'm all the way at the top of my guitar here. And I'm at my very last fret, so. Sometimes to really kind of get my hand to fit in here, I have to use my second finger instead of my third. And I don't always have a finger coming behind that one either. But that's another great spot. Same note we bent down here. But it's up an octave with our scale. And then we had our the other one we had. Right there on our scale without the shift. Also sounds great up an octave. Yeah just sounds cool. So these are some of my favorite spots to bend on the guitar and there's lots of different ways to do bends, you know. Um, so find what works for you. Um, 
Typically, I always like to add a little bit of vibrato at the top. If you haven't noticed that yet, I do that all the time. Um, I just like the way it sounds. So, so hopefully, you know, this gives you a couple of ideas of some nice sort of sweet spots to bend using these scales that we already know. It's using your own improvisation. And uh, have a great rest of your day working on bends. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.